What's up, guys? Seven quick, easy ways to tie a headscarf. Infinity Scarf Edition. Listen, Infinity Scarves are not just a neck accessory. They also make killer headscarves. And because there's no ends, they're infinity. You don't have to do much to get a seamless look. All right, let's count them out. First tile. Grab a small section of hair in the front of your head and clip that out of the way. Gather the rest of your hair into a high pony and wrap it into a bun. It can be any bun. I'm going to do a messy one. Pulling the ribbon tie over the pony and stopping halfway. I just split the ends of the hair in half and twist each half around to the back, securing it discreetly underneath the bun with a bobby pin. Alright, messy bun complete. Release that top front section of hair and we're going to make a loose pompadour by just twisting the section loosely, pulling it back towards the bun, and then pushing the hair forward to create a bump. And now secure that in place with the bobby pin. Nice. Okay, grab your favorite infinity scarf. And no, this is not made of satin. Living on the edge. I'm gonna fold my infinity scarf shut so it looks like a giant rectangle. Place the rectangle over the back of your head, pulling it forward, and then tie it directly behind the pompadour, tightening it. Then tie it again, this time making it loose so there's lots of volume. Wow. And that's it! I'm calling this super cute style my modern Rosie. It's a really cute and fun look. And you'll get a different vibe depending on the print of the scarf. This leopard print pattern is giving me all types of flirty. But a striped or polka dot would feel a little bit more preppy. So experiment to get different vibes. Look number two. This is easy. Just tuck in the ends on each side. It gives it a bit more structure and it feels much less flirty with the bows hidden. Okay guys, we're just gonna grab the scarf as is, like a loop. And for look number three, wrap it around your head, pulling it forward. Give it a little twist. Then pull the fabric back and over the bun crisscrossing the fabric low on your head, then bring it forward again, and with the leftover fabric, twist it, and tuck it underneath the rest of the fabric. And that's it! This look is pretty classic. Number four, gather all your hair to the top of your head, split it in half, and then twist it up. Now wrap that twist into a small high bun and bobby pin it in place. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it's small and on top of your head. Okay, grab the scarf just as it is, place it on the back of your head, pulling it forward. We're gonna crisscross it, then give it a twist. Now bring the fabric to the back and wrap it around the bun bring it forward again, twist, bring it back, you get the point. Do this until you run out of fabric to wrap. Now when we get to the front, you can leave the fabric out like this so it has an asymmetrical feel. Or how I prefer it, number five. Tighten up the loose fabric by twisting and securing it underneath. This is a bit cleaner and you can see more of the rope texture, which is why I prefer it, but they're both cute. Okay, number six. Take it one step further to complete protective style and pull a panel of fabric up and over the bun, completely covering it and tucking that extra fabric inside. This last one is one of my favorites. Fold the scarf shut so it looks like a rectangle. Now fold the rectangle in half to make it skinnier. Place the scarf to the back of your head, pulling it forward. Put your hand into the little infinity loop, grabbing the opposite end and pulling it through. Now just twist the two ends and tuck them into the sides. And just like that, another classic style with lots of texture. This was definitely one of my favorites. Made me feel really chic and cool. So that's it guys, I told you they were easy. And the infinity scarf makes wrapping and securing a breeze. Seven quick, classic, and chic ways to tie an infinity headscarf. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps. I'll see you guys in the next one. Click the links to the left to check out my last video, Casual Loose Curls Using a Curling Wand. And click the link to the right to come check out my daily vlog channel. I'll see you guys there.